Hi, I'm Marigo, and um, today I'm going to share with you a tip that I recently discovered while casually reading the Ableton Manual for fun. And um, it's super useful, kind of can't believe I didn't know how to do this before, and I'm going to share it with you today. So um, let's take a look at Ableton. Um, so what I have here basically is just a little um, portion of my live set um, here in session view. And what we're going to do today is um, see how we can fade out a looping clip over time without having to do it manually. So you're going to automate a fade out in session view. Um, so here in arrangement view, right, just so you kind of get an idea of what we're doing, right, it's really easy to create a fade. So all I have to do is take this little um, fade marker and just drag it over. Right, and it creates a really nice gradual fade. Okay, so in session view, however, if we have a clip that's looping, so I have that same clip right here, it's just gonna keep playing forever and there's really no way to fade it out. Um, let's say if I wanted it to go four times and then fade out slowly or something like that. Um, um, I didn't know how to do that before. So now I'm gonna show you how to do that, which involves unlinking the clip envelope from the sample itself. So um, here you can see I have down in this corner um, a couple buttons here. So you want to make sure if you're not seeing all three of these, you want to make sure that this last one um, is toggled on. So that opens the um, envelope, uh, the clip envelope. Okay, so next I'm going to click on this button right here that says linked. Okay, and what is going to happen is that it's going to unlink the clip envelope from the sample. Okay, so it's a four bar sample we can see here. When I hit unlink, you'll see these sort of light blue brackets, um, which represent the envelope uh, as opposed to the actual sample. And it's also four bars. So what I'm going to do is, um, just for example sake, we're going to say that I want the sample to repeat twice. So it'll be eight bar phrase and it's going to slowly fade out over those eight bars. So I'm going to go here to the length and I'm going to click uh, type in eight and I can see the clip envelope has doubled. Um, the sample is still just four bars, but the clip uh, envelope has doubled. Then I'm going to automate the volume. So I'm going to choose mixer uh, track volume, which is already selected. And I'm just going to create some breakpoints here just by clicking on the red line and I'm going to drag it down. Okay. Till to zero, right? To to till it's completely quiet. Um, then I'm gonna click Option and hold. I'm gonna click the red line, which is now highlighted blue, and I'm just gonna create a little bit of a bend here, so it's um, a little bit of a slower fade and faster at the end. Okay, so now um, when I loop this section, it is gonna continue to loop the sample, but it's going to gradually fade over time. You can see how it could be really useful um, if you're making transitions from one track to the next and you want the previous sections to fade out, but you don't have enough hands to do so. Um, so anyway, that's just a really cool trick. It's called unlinking, right? Unlinking the clip envelope from the uh, clip. And um, I hope that's useful for your set. So if you have um, any other ideas for Ableton tutorials, feel, feel free to comment below. Um, you can check out some of my other tutorials on YouTube. And um, I hope that's helpful for you.